Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error that says the identity of this website or the integrity of this connection cannot be verified. So if you're getting this issue, there's a couple of different causes for it. The first one is probably that the digital certificate has already been expired or the time in which it was issued for in the certificate might not match the time that's on your local computer settings or your security level is also set too high if you're using Internet Explorer, which I don't know how many people really are, but I just want to cover that in this tutorial as well. So the first thing I would personally suggest would be to open up the Start menu, just lock on the Start button one time, type in Internet Options, best match should come back with Internet Options here, left click on that option one time, and then go ahead and left click on the Advanced tab, and then you want to go ahead and underneath the security section, so just scroll down here, you want to go make sure if there's boxes to say check for publisher's certificate revocation, as well as check for server certificate revocation. You want to uncheck both of these, just temporarily or permanently. I mean, it really depends on how often you come across this issue. You might want to just temporarily do it and then try and access the web page and see if it resolves the problem. So then once you've done that, you just want to apply and OK. Again, just read the instructions. You can always go online and look up exactly what that does. But if you're just having an issue with this one specific website, you can try and just do it and see if that was the root cause of it. Another thing you could try, so you know, we didn't have to close out of Internet Options, but I'm going to go back into it again. So again, Internet Options. This time we're going to head over to the Security tab. For security level for the zone, if it's set to high, I would suggest moving it to medium high. So that's one more thing you can try and then do apply and OK. As well as if you select trusted sites, so if you left click on that tab or that button and then left click on sites right or next to trusted sites, if you click on this button right here, you can go ahead and insert the website you want to allow to be trusted. So if you have a particular website, so if you go over to let's say google.com and you want to copy the URL out of the address, so let's say I went to Google and I copied that address, I could just paste it right in here and then just off click on add. And there you go guys, you made an exemption for it. So if you just click on close at this point, and it went back into trusted sites, you can see Google is currently in here. Now that was just an example website, but if you're having an issue with multiple websites, you might want to consider doing one of the first steps I showed. But if it's a specific website, this method just going through the trusted sites will probably be very useful for you. So once you're done, click on close apply and OK, restart your computer and hopefully that has resolved your issue. Another thing would be to try and check your date and time settings. So if your time in your bottom right corner or wherever your time and clock is on your desktop is not matching what the actual time is, you might need to adjust your time settings. So if you open up the start menu and type in date and best match date and time settings, I'm going to left click on that. If you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, you might have to go through the control panel, but I mean, it's a pretty straightforward process. You just want to make sure your time is correct here. And if it's not, we're going to make sure set time automatically is turned on, preferably. So my time is actually going to be corrected here by just flipping it off and then on again. As well as if you wanted to set it manually, you just turn it to the off position. And then you'd be able to actually change the date and time by clicking on this change button. Change it to the correct date and time, left click on change. And hopefully that would be about it. So again, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.